news in Fayette County comes from the state champions at our local high schools. Not only did McIntosh and Whitewater win state soccer championships last weekend, but Sandy Creek's boys track team won the Class AAA title, Stars Mill girls won the Class Quad A tennis title, and several local athletes won individual titles at the state track meet. Congratulations to the players, coaches, schools, and fans. As the school year draws to a close and summer approaches, thoughts turn to the major events that highlight the summer. One of the biggest events every year is the Peachtree City Fireworks on the 4th of July. This week, Peachtree City officials made a plea for area residents to not lay down blankets before 3 p.m. on the 4th of July in their efforts to stake out the perfect spot to view the fireworks. Fayetteville resident Christy Edmondson got a $300 million Gold Rush scratch ticket recently from her father, scratched it off, and blacked out for a few seconds. That's because the ticket announced she was a winner of a million dollars. The lucky ticket was purchased at a pit stop on Tara Boulevard in Jonesboro. The mother of two children, Edmondson plans to play it safe after splurging on a trip to Disney World this summer. And though she already has won big, she plans to keep on scratching and tickets in the future. Getting ready for hiking, running, water sports, or just relaxing? Save on all casual and outdoor clothing and footwear at Smith & Davis. Choose from styles by Nike, Adidas, Saucony, Mizuno, New Balance, Brooks, and more. Smith & Davis is located on Highway 54 between Fayetteville and Peachtree City. Open Monday through Friday, 9.30 to 7, Saturday, 9.30 to 6, and Sunday, 1 to 6. The trial of a Powder Springs woman accused of killing her ex-husband at a Peachtree City business October 26th has been postponed. April Don Ulrich, 46, was initially scheduled to stand trial for murder Monday, but the matter has been continued by an order of Fayette Superior Court Judge Christopher C. Edwards. Ulrich's defense attorney sought the continuance so Ulrich could undergo further mental evaluations. During Thursday night's Tyrone Town Council meeting, the town honored former Tyrone Police Chief Johnny Hay and local Girl Scouts. The annual Old Courthouse Art Show in Fayetteville is set for this weekend and includes a two-day juried fine art show on the Old Courthouse grounds, complete with a performing arts stage and food vendors. The stage will feature Irish dancers, local bands, theater groups, and the winners of Fayette Idol. To round out the weekend, for the sixth year, downtown Fayetteville will come alive with a variety of delicious tastes dished up by local restaurants with the Taste of Fayette on Sunday, May 20th from noon to 5 p.m. in the Stonewall Village. The Southern Crescent Chorale will present the Fabulous 50s on Saturday, May 19th at the Village's Amphitheater. The concert will feature the chorale accompanied by the Don McSwain Band singing many hits of the 1950s. Doors open at 7 p.m., so come early to view vintage cars from the 1950s and to listen to pre-concert music from the decade. The dance floor will be open all night, and a special call-out dance will honor reunion classes of the 1950s. Patrons are encouraged to come to the concert dressed in 50s attire, and those that do will be eligible to enter a drawing for dinner for two at the City Cafe. Lastly, the Frederick Brown Jr. Amphitheater will host Aaron Neville and his quintet, featuring Charles Neville on May 18th and 19th. Tickets are available at the Amphitheater box office or through Ticketmaster. Stay tuned for a look ahead at next week's news after a word from our sponsor. Hi, I'm Tony Davis of Smith & Davis Clothing. This is my daughter, Grace. I hope you stop by this week and take advantage of our running shoe clearance. We have selected styles of the best in technical running shoes, now priced from $49.99 to $69.99. Also, a select group of jeans, shorts, capris, shirts, tees, knit, and woven tops are clearance priced at 50% off. Our family's been providing brand name clothing and shoes to three generations of families in this area since 1965. It will be our pleasure to serve your family today. Thanks. Coming up next week, a look at the valedictorians and salutatorians from our local high schools examining the county budget, a preview of Memorial Day events in the area, and much, much more. Thanks for tuning in.